My name is Wasila Yisi, I she her pronouns. I am from Ghana and I'm from Kumasi to be specific. Um, I'm currently at Smith uh, majoring in engineering with a minor in Arabic language. About my childhood, I would say it's quite a bit far from ideal because I kind of grew up like very quickly even though I was a young girl but reality hit me very early and I have to like grow up. So I'm from a family of um, five, like I have three older sisters and my brother plus my mom, that makes it six. And, um, it was, we were growing or living in a slum, like one of the dangerous slums in Ghana. So you have to look out for each other and then fend for yourself and that was like the most difficult part. So I really wanted to go to school and I saw that there wasn't enough support for my family and my dad and it was just chaotic. So. I realized that I have to help some way or the other to get uh, money to go to school the next day. So at a very young age, at like 10 years, I decided to help my mom sell sugar cane around uh, my community so that I can get money for the next day. It was quite dangerous for my age at that time because as a young girl going in that um, community where there is like a lot of harms that could happen to you, it was very dangerous. But then I didn't care about that, I just wanted to get money to go to school the next day. So that was my life for like 10 more years until I finished high school, I was helping my mom. I finished high school, I didn't have any hopes of going to university, so I decided to take a year gap so that I can get money for the next um, tertiary institution. And likely I was there working during those period and a friend came to introduce one organization called Nobis Foundation. And that foundation really helped me to apply for schools um, abroad and then take the SAT exams and that got me here at Smith. So <laughs> that is like my story. <laughs> so um, when I got to junior high school, I found sports and it was like a space for me to go and enjoy myself, like run, get the stress out of my life and then forget about what is going on in my life. So I just go for sports um, activities and then come back home, rush and go search the kid again. So that was how I was going about it. And um, frankly, it helped me because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have been here. I would have been here, like, really right now with some kids or something like that. But I got to Smith and I realized that the passion is still there to run, to like kind of still have fun with it. And I joined the, the track and field team. And it's been very amazing with the teammates I've had. They are very supportive. Coaches have been supportive and they helped me bring the best out of me. And it, it's been amazing, like an amazing story from then to now. So, I, I even make fun of myself that if I'm to reincarnated again, I think I will dance as a career. So that is like, I joined some small um, groups so that we can be dancing just to get myself like energized and boost my morale and stuff. But I'm part of like some other extracurricular um, activities. I'm like Ali Imam um, organization, that's for the students, um, Muslim students on campus. I'm also part of like success, so a lot of organization, but track is the most important one for me. If something is not going accordingly as you planned, just don't sit back and cry. Just take the first step, try to look for help. Just make yourself available and then uh, improve on yourself. Maybe somebody will see you from somewhere and then it won't be very difficult for the person to help you. So that is like my story. I was trying to do my um, better myself some way, somehow, but then God saw me and then um, helped me and I'm here. So if you are there and you've lost hope, don't, it's not um, the end yet. Just take your time. Recoup and then strike again and everything will be fine.